Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Brukan, exhibiting why Brukan can be really, really busted when you get the right quest combo. Because if you get a quest like trigger X death rattles or have X number of units die or minions attack, you can effectively just use your hero power to auto complete the quest. You don't have to buy anything else. You don't have to reposition your board. Just push the level up button, push your hero power each turn, and then go straight to five. Use the tempo from the quest or whatever it may be to give you direction. And that's just it. That's the meta right now. Abuse the quest, go to the moon, look for those fives or sixes in combination with each other, and then just build a board off the first thing you see. And when you're on five for long enough, I think you know where this goes. You can find some pretty nasty combos. All right, enjoy. Minions die, super good, minions die. Gun, yeah, we can level straight to six, this game. Alter Ego, meh. <laughs> you see him wake up, people are firing off guns. This might be too much power. Where are the fun quests, Bofer? Not in this game. Now, to be fair, if it's too much power, that means we're winning rounds. And if we're winning rounds, then what do I really care? Like, imagine if we lose here. Like, this is 7 minions, 11 death rattles. If we can get it close to a tie, we get smoking gun online turn 5. Casually, giving ourselves a value trade, no big deal. worst play is to put captain up front because it value traded something boo all right well i'm gonna go level up are the quests based upon a quest difficulty based upon hero tier or armor value armor tier armor tier range whatever you want to call it i'm not sure if there's an official term for that but like, Brew Khan, for example, is in the zero armor tier. He has a specific, you know, quest dictated by that. Heroes that are in like the six to eight armor range, whether you roll eight armor that game or six armor that game, the quest requirements are the same. At least that's my understanding. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the devs clarified that at one point on Twitter. And that's been my working understanding of it. Bro, it's so many death rattles. Brukan is dumb. Our combats are too good. But it affects hero selection. You think it does? You think knowing whether or not the mechanic is armor value or armor tier that affects your quest changes whether you would pick Brukan or not in a specific scenario or whatever not Brukan use a hero that actually has armor because the armor range is only two armor plus or minus one from the median and you're saying that given six armor on C'Thun instead of four armor on C'Thun I would choose to play a different hero like, that's some level of precision of understanding of the game to think that there's a breakpoint here between this armor being one or two different with when you know that it affects ever so slightly the quest requirements. 
Like, sure, in theory, it, it changes something, but it is not something that you are going to quantify in any meaningful way to actually impact your gameplay. That's Rain Man level? Yeah, it's, it's so far out there. So many, you know, so many disconnects away from your current location that while it's cool to know the mechanic, it does not affect you in any way with your actual decision making. Chuckle, chuckle. Yeah, we shouldn't lose this round either. Golden Tavern Tipper. Still not losing. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. And smoking gun online. Get him smoking gun minions. What did you triple into? What is happening over here? Did you triple into like a two? Yeah, he tripled into a three. A two. I'm confused. Why are you doing these things? Question mark on whether we take damage here. Doomsayer's decent. Yeah. I like those cards. He golded turn one or two probably into a two. Well, I know that's not the case because we have that information on the screen. We look at the top of the board. Turn three. Leveled the tavern two. And while on tavern two, took a triple. Information is indeed weird. There you go. Info weird, dude. All right. This is either Eliza or Mega Buster, and we're pretty happy with either direction because we can play toward Exodia Max or we can play toward Exodia Pirates. Otherwise, we probably take Hogger quickly. Yeah, like I said, this is a crapshoot this round. We don't really know what this board is, but if it's you know this, could be a problem. At least we didn't reset the deflect though before the first one died. Oh, oh, never mind. Could be a problem, he says. Don't mind me. I'm just over here three percent and some dude. T Hogger. Would we even take Hogger if we got Theotar? Just three percent him. Eliza. So we can make a pretty good argument for Hogger still just because we want to play that direction. On the other hand, we could just roll Tony. We could take a Noia module up here. We look at one more board, right? So like Hogger isn't a half bad take. If we're going to look at one more board. Hogger all day, AD all day. I like the anti-synergy of our death rattle quest and Eliza though. Or death rattle hero power. Go infinite. Yeah, but like, we can APM pirate any day. We haven't done Exodia pirates in ages. Oh. That's some dog barking right there. Did you hear something? Hey, hey. I think there's a dog fight outside. Two dogs like growl at each other. Set my dogs off. My bad. I know. I know it's scary. It's terrifying even. Mm-hmm. I know. We probably don't need to get full value out of Eliza. Firewalks and fire... Yeah, yeah, like fireworks are probably... And gunshots are setting them off. That was a lot of growling. I heard it too. Come on, guys. It's fine. I heard it too. We could argue that sparring partner isn't worth freezing for at this point in the game. I think it is. That with most Exodia pirate boards like this, we just want to be strong quickly because we either hit everything and we win or we're strong and we tempo people out and we can get them before then. Yeah, dogs react heavily to fireworks. Yeah. 
No, we heard dogs fighting out the window or growling at each other. And both of them kind of went nuts. Like, I don't like this. No dog fights. cute not doing that much i don't think we go for the salty if we get tony which is hilarious bam tony now we got some questions to ask we can probably get both Or it's possible to get both, I should say. I mean, we can hope. <laughs> we can taunt something if we want. Opens us up the cleave, though, and it's an elemental board. I think I'd rather have Golden Eliza up front. It's not true. AP Empires is just so good here. Gold both scallies, that's the play. Nine on the block cleave, then it just gets golden. If you do it this way, you have more hits up front, but you don't attack with Micro Mummy in front of Void Lord. Okay, no cleave. Would have been nice to have a taunt. It's also pretty strong for this turn. Alright, we got the Hogger. Question is, do we get the Eliza? Yes, we do. Now do we take damage? Coin flip to take damage? No, we don't. We'll take it. All right, well, we're actually infinite. You know, no scaling options yet, but like... Soon. I'm going to keep you for a minute. Taunt's kind of cute. We don't have enough gold to keep doing the turn. Uh, no, we're not going to take the Baron here. Forty seconds. Uh, I'll do one of them. We, we don't actually have to do anything at all with that, to be fair. Just pull this one up forward, but if we get the Golden Hogger, then we'll just be infinite with that, and we'll just take the Golden Peggy instead. On the other hand, we may have so much power that we can't kill anything on the board. Firewall? Yeah, I should. I've just been avoiding doing it all season, or at the end of the season. Yo, you're going to somehow kill this! No hero power? 
Uh, yeah, we could play for death rattles maybe on the hero power. Might have been a better play. Just a lot of things to do on APM. Leaves you open to get griefed on this. We'll just get Golden Piggy anyway, it's fine. Got 90. Okay. My God, game function. We're Brando. Could play toward poison as an option instead of just going full pirate here. Come on. Starting to slow down on me. Can't imagine how a game that has like the graphical requirement of a toaster cannot function well on a fucking 4080. What are we at? Turn 11 is a little bit scary. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever seen that notification before. Unable to reconnect. Okay. Graphical requirement of a toaster, and it can't run the game perfectly. I can't run the game well. I don't dislike Ghoul, but uh, we'll wait a minute. Because we don't have a ton of gold. What are we dealing with? Mech Elemental? So mech should be a pretty easy round. We got 100 seconds to make numbers big. We don't play toy poison. We just go big number. We look for the triples. We look for brand. We look for stats at the end. Golden balls, cute. All right, that's only one of those, right? Okay. Or two of those, I should say. It's not tripled yet. We're Bran. We're triple. Running into hand space problems. We've hit so many pirates that it's hard to remove everything. There's a start. I like that. All right, one way or another, we're getting out of that this turn. Be nice to golden it. Do you think you win this round against the mech board and we don't have to use the pirate shit? Because if we do, then I'd like to sit still. We'll just float 33, no big deal. Because we can get Golden Brand for next turn and do better than we did there. Yeah. We can get Golden Ball too. We can get off a Peggy, buff it with that, and then make 
giant minions or pick up golden peggy is another option if we find it resetting seems to help the lag too quite a bit if i could click on the cards that is that one's not even the game's fault that's me clicking through the card or clicking beside the card It's when the green lights stop showing. That's your, uh, it's when you know there's a problem. Mm. Yeah, let's make the thing big. Could always seafood the ball too, but isn't really my priority if we don't get the Baran, because you can't have all of those open spots. So we just play for pirates for the rest of the turn. My Peggy scaling Bofer. It's all right. I want the golden Baran on the board for the, the strong arm buffs anyway. If we find the golden strong arm, then this has to happen first, and then we need to open that spot again. Lose my spot on the uh, the screen. At one point, I used to play competitive shooters, and now I can't click cards in a children's card game. What is this world? We want ghoul on the board this time. That should do. Ball be huge, ball be huge. And then we just play next turn through the ghoul slot with the golden Peggy, and then we drop Selfless Hero Baron Ghoul at the end. Seafood for another golden ghoul. We don't want golden ghoul, unfortunately, because we didn't Uther a Baron. We got golden Baron before that point. So if we play golden ghoul, golden Baron, we'll kill the Baron. So we're going to play like normal ghoul. So there's no real reason to pick up a ton of them. We do just want to Uther our own though. At some point. So Peggy can come back down now. We want a ghoul, we want an Uther, and we just want stats at this point. Let's open up a hand space here. Wait, what the fuck? Should not have chosen seafood! Worst choice, Bofer. Never choose seafood. We just want a ghoul now, and then everything else is just stats. Okay. Starting to slow down again. There's your goal. All right. So that's the end of the game. Golden ghoul is pointless now. We can make a, the uh, selfless hero bigger if we want to. It's probably better. Probably should have buffed the hogger, not the, the piggy, to be fair. Because it doesn't stay on the board. Now we're going to sell hogger. Doesn't matter, but this number was bigger to start, which would have been better. Oh no, it's going to be a 300-300 instead of a 280-280. Or whatever. Vice versa. Oh shit, we can actually do that. Um, It's actually nasty. Now we could play Golden Ghoul if we wanted to, but it also plays around Leroy's, which is really, really nice. And Manted. So you go down, you go down, you go down. We could do it this way. I like you better.
That's it. So now we could actually play the golden ghoul. But until we got the Baron to be bigger, we need a golden Uther to fix it. We don't typically get to that. Good enough. I missed something. How was Brand 400 400? Because we played the ball variant. Was it necessary? No. But there's not a lot to do once you're full APM because the game just kind of ends. We do the same thing every time. It's kind of why I wanted to play Exodia Mechs or Exodia Pirates because we haven't done Exodia Pirates in a while. We get an APM game or two. Once a day, basically. And while it is fun, don't get me wrong. Variety is the spice of life. Variety. <laughs> oh, GG. Yeah, I mean, used to accelerate way too fast.